peach first? Peach. Oh. <laughs> what about yellow? yellow. Okay, orange. Yeah. Oh. Okay, there you have it. So after years of neutral, everything color is making a big comeback, especially in beauty. So we're about to break down the headline-making trends to add some color to your hair and makeup. First up, a man who works magic on my face every day, my makeup artist, Tam Fam makeup artist, Raul Otero. <laughs> He started doing makeup when he was 15 years old in Puerto Rico. He moved to the U.S. at 17 and now works on celebrities like Rihanna, Gabrielle Union, and Camila Cabello. <laughs> he is also an Emmy-nominated makeup artist for his work on me at the Cameron All Show. <laughs> All right. So, Raul is the sweetest, nicest person, and the only time we ever clash is because you think I like boring colors. Yes. You battle me over red lipstick. Don't be shy. My family's here now. Watch and tell them. <laughs> What's she, our battle? She does not like a red. And I love to put reds on her because they just look amazing yeah. with the skin tone. We battle all, all the, the time. time. So now the, 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 the people out there who set the trends for makeup, they say that the neutral thing is out. The minimalist, the little soft lip balms and all that, they say it's out. That Harper's Bazaar and others have announced 2024 Enter makeup maximalism. What does maximalism mean? Well, for me, maximalism is expressing yourself, your personality through color, not being afraid to show off your personality, like live life in color. Live life in color. Yes. Okay. So, one of the things you have, this, this eyeshadow, now the trend, because remember they used to have the palettes with the three colors and four. Now a single shade of color is in, like this look here. Correct. I love this trend because, like I said, live life in color, and it's so easy to do. You just pick one shade that calls out to you, just put it all over the eyelid, boom, you're out, you're good, look beautiful, simple. One shade. One shade. I feel like I'm gonna look like a sci-fi character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move to blush, which you say is where the color game needs to be strong. In fact, we yes. have a member of our TAM fam, Jasmine. She told us she normally does a natural look, but wants to introduce color to her makeup routine. Jasmine, come on over. I love this. <laughs> You're gonna switch seats with Raul? Yes. Okay. So, Jasmine, you're like me. You like a neutral blush. Yeah. Raul created a blush tone guide for our Tam fan, by the way, that we're going to be putting up on TamaronHallShow.com. So if you're wondering what blush you should wear, he's created something that you can try at home by going to our social media. So we've got Jasmine here, his beautiful glowing skin. Okay. What, what do you recommend for blush here? Well, for Jasmine and her uh, skin tone, I recommend uh, deep reds, tangerines, uh, rich plums will look great on her too. With her, we're gonna try to accomplish a natural blush with like a statement of color. All right. And yes. so this is the guide that you have. If you yes. go on our social media, you'll be able to find it. Okay, so you've got this color here. It's called yes. Disco. Well, the technique is called Disco oh, Blush. excuse me. Okay. It's that's also the... called uh, Blush Draping. Okay, so it's Blush Draping. The trend is Disco Blush, like Studio 54, yes. and Blush Draping. And how do we do that look? Okay, so for this technique... Oh, look at Jodie Turner, she's stunning. Yes. Always remember to tap the brush so all the excess comes off. Okay. And then we start on the highest point of the cheekbone, and you just sweep the color. Start with a little bit so that way, you know, you don't deposit too much color on the skin, and then you just repeat the step. Well, what makes it disco, Ro? What makes it disco is that we take it up to the temple. Oh. Oh, so the and blush also all gives the like way a up lifting, there. Yeah, it gives like a lifting effect as well. And we can also do a little bit of, um, close my love, on the oh. eye. It's, and I that's know. a vibrant tangerine color that complements her skin. Correct. I love that. See? Why don't you do that on me? <laughs> yeah. We can try You're it. Like, we're it's trying. It's like you tell me to keep using it. You guys are the witness. I don't want oh her to fight me. Oh, my God. That looks beautiful. <laughs> looks beautiful. That's uh -huh. gorgeous. Yeah. All right, so Raul is standing by next up. Founder of The Way Hair Salon in Soho, New York, Alicia Luciano is known as the hair artiste. She's been named one of the best hair colorists in New York City twice by The Zoe Report. Her before and afters are stunning. Originally a painter, she took her talents to professional styling heights 16 years ago. Now she styles hair celebrities like Naomi Campbell, Little Yachty, their go-to stylist for campaigns, Lancome, Nike. She shared the ultimate color transformation from brown to red. Take a look. Hi, Tam fam, Alicia here. 
Today, I'm gonna help you choose the perfect shade of hair color for you. When choosing the right red for each of my clients, it's really important that I pay attention to their complexion as well as their undertones. And when we do that, we're gonna create a sun-kissed effect. Here I'm assessing Reem's existing color. And now I'm gonna get her sectioned and ready to go. I've gone ahead and mixed up two different colors to work through Reem's hair. I'll also be using a foiling technique, which is gonna allow me to create a ton of dimension and really make her curl pattern pop. So the time has come. We're gonna to start to rinse some of these back foils out. That is super, super, super important because you do not want any of these foils to stay in any longer than they need to. So I'm putting in the last few foils in the front of the hair. This is gonna allow me to really enhance that hairline and make sure everything they see in the mirror is fabulous. All right, we're at the final step of the foiling process. I'm gonna remove these foils from Reem's hair and I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo her twice. Once I've taken care of that, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up her gloss. So now I'm applying the gloss all over Reem's hair. Making sure everything is really saturated is gonna be essential. Once you see this color and how well it suits her, you'll wanna color your hair too. All right, Alicia is here before we bring out Reem and show her before and after. So the hot color, they're saying mahoganies and reds. Why is that the it color this year? It has been the it color for the last three to four years. I'm Honestly, behind. it just oh, keeps reinventing itself. Uh, so I think it makes everyone feel like they just came back from vacation. Okay, so I'm intimidated by color. We did my hair blonde for our golden hour last season. That was a wig because oh, wow. I was not going to color my hair. Sherwin, well, our colorist, did my wig. It looks great. And I was torn because I always thought blonde would like wash yeah. out. What, what's your advice for those of us before we bring out Reem who are on the fence about jumping into color? Baby steps. You Baby steps. never go wrong with a little bit at a time because then it's it's your call, right? right? Like you're making that executive decision. You're feeling confident about it. So don't just go in and say, change it all up. Take I, it. I wouldn't. You, you wouldn't. Personally, and you're the colorist. Exactly. I okay. think when you do it on your own terms yeah. with the advice of a professional, it's going to be amazing. Okay, because I do want to go red, but I, I am afraid. So we have Reem standing by. Let's look at Reem's before picture. She kind of has an, a reddish color oh, yeah. already. All right, let's reveal Reem as a redhead. Come on out, Reem. Oh! So pretty! Oh my God! What? Okay, I like this because I was prepared for Carrot Top Red, I'll be honest. <laughs> and no offense to Carrot Top, we adore Carrot Top. But this fits her complexion. Yes. That's always the challenge. Yes. Yes, I think the trickiest part is when you're taking it slow, understanding what that can be. You can do a lot of coverage, but you can ease into the tone. We know summer's around the corner, yeah. so maybe at that point she wants to even kick it up a notch and go brighter. But for here, it's gonna flatter her, her makeup palette's gonna work, her clothing palette is gonna work, and she's gonna be the boss when well, it comes to the tone. And I love that because also one red doesn't suit everyone. Exactly. Finding your exactly. color palette in this, if you will. Exactly, it's kind of like uh, what your makeup artist was saying about the blushes. Yeah. You know, you can really give that sun-kissed look, it can be a little bit more vibrant, it can you know, go down a notch. If you want it to be disco-y, it can be that too. It just so depends on the So are highlights person. and lowlights out and full color in? Oh no. Oh, okay. I think it's all, all the things. All I think the things. full color is always gonna be in. Right. That you can always do, but I think at the same time, a low light can transition time and, and a highlight can add that extra pizzazz you're looking for in the front. I think whatever works for the client's lifestyle. I see lifestyle. some of our little highlights. I see you in the front there with your orange and your highlights. You look gorgeous. <laughs> See, I think it adds, I'm always attracted to people who have that light blonde. I can just go around the room and it, it, it oh, yeah. pops out. Oh, yeah. But I don't know if I'm ready. Oh, this color thing got me so confused. You're ready. Thank you so much. You're great. <laughs> Alicia Raul.